Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of total solar eclipses, specifically focusing on what happens if clouds block our view of the April 8, 2024 eclipse. Imagine the anticipation of witnessing this rare celestial event only to be thwarted by a blanket of clouds. But fear not, even in this scenario, there are fascinating phenomena to observe. Let's explore. Clouds during a total solar eclipse can provide a unique viewing experience, acting as a natural projection screen for the moon's shadow. Even if thick clouds obscure the sun, observers can still witness the rapid approach and departure of the moon's dark umbral shadow. This effect was described by Isabel Martin Luis in her 1924 book, A Handbook of Solar Eclipses, highlighting the awe inspiring nature of this phenomenon. In the presence of mid to high level clouds, such as Chirostratus, Altostratus, and Cirrocumulus, viewers may observe the forward edge of the elliptical shadow moving rapidly toward and over them just before and during the onset of totality. These clouds can also lead to a remarkable change in the overall quality of light on the surrounding landscape and a dramatic shift in the color of the clouds. One such instance occurred during an eclipse in Quebec, where the sky began under bright sunshine mixed with some wispy high clouds. As more of the sun became covered, the high cloudiness increased and began to lower, resulting in virtually the whole sky being covered by battleship gray clouds at the onset of totality. Despite the heavy cloud cover, observers were able to witness the distinctly sharp edge of the moon's shadow moving in, creating an eerie and awe-inspiring sight. Eclipse chasers have shared their personal experiences of witnessing total solar eclipses under various cloud conditions. Despite being completely clouded out of two total solar eclipses and partially clouded out of a third, some observers have managed to sneak in views of the eclipse's corona, or even catch sight of the totally eclipsed sun through fortuitous openings in the clouds. These experiences highlight the unpredictability and excitement of eclipse watching, even under less than ideal weather conditions. One correspondent, stationed in Halifax under cloudy skies during a total solar eclipse, described the rapid darkening of the sky likening it to virtual night. Despite not being able to see the sun, the observer noted a lovely pink and orange horizon, adding to the incredible and fascinating phenomenon of the eclipse. These personal accounts emphasize that even when clouds obstruct the view, the eclipse can still be a memorable and unique experience. In some cases, observers are lucky enough to have a mostly clear sky during an eclipse, only to have a single cloud pass in front of the sun during totality, obstructing the view. This happened during an eclipse in Colombia, where the entire sky was clear except for one cloud that drifted in front of the sun during the 38-second interval of totality. Despite this obstruction, observers could still see stars and planets and witness the passage of the moon's shadow, highlighting the unpredictability of cloud cover during eclipses. Despite encountering heavily overcast skies with low clouds and spotty light precipitation during an eclipse off the coast of Antarctica, observers still experienced a distinct darkening of the sky during totality. This effect was described as being similar to someone turning down a dimmer switch and then turning it back up, causing the light to return. These unique cloud scenarios demonstrate that even under challenging weather conditions, the total solar eclipse can still be a fascinating and memorable event. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the potential effects of cloudy weather during a total solar eclipse. While clear skies are ideal, Experiencing an eclipse under cloudy conditions can still be a memorable and awe-inspiring event. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of astronomy.